Welcome to another Cadence Tech video. Uh, this is going to be a supplement video to the original Big K, uh, the Big 3 kit. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to be showing you how to actually uh, to actually install the kit itself uh, into, a, into a factory system. So uh, as I had spoken before uh, about the kit, you know, we have uh, your ground cables, your two ground cables and a power cable uh, and new blocks. Now, as you can see here, this is a uh, you know an install that was already done. Uh, so I'm I'm here to actually fix this uh, this little doodad right here. Now, a couple things that I've got to I've got to take in consideration is, is I've got these factory fuse systems uh, down here at the bottom. Uh, these are uh, the power cables uh, coming in. Uh, this is power going down to the starter. Uh, this one here is the power going uh, to the uh, system, which is an irony because it's a four gauge to an odd cable. So anyway, uh, that will be taken care of. And as you can see here, uh, it looks like to me that somebody had already uh, upgraded uh, the ground cable to a four gauge, uh, but I've got to go and take the entire battery system out uh, to find out where uh, these connections are located at. So uh, begin in, like I said, uh, I'm gonna, these are gonna be multi-part uh, type video here. Uh, and uh, I'll try to get, you know, keep going as I can go. I'll, I'll bring in when I'm, I'm actually doing the wiring and stuff. Uh, but right now, this is, uh, like I said, this is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, as you can see here, this is a show vehicle. Uh, I'll show you the, the extent of the uh, motor hole and stuff like that. So I've got to be very clean uh, with all the wiring that I'm going to do. Uh, but again, this is going to be for the, uh, the Big 3 kit. Uh, and, and while I'm doing this, I'm going to explain uh, as much as I can and in detail uh, why you need uh, these kits uh, why is it important what does it do for you uh, and where does where will you yield uh, the most benefits out of it okay so we can see here uh, this is the uh, the factory uh, strap structure uh, for the body itself so this is where the grounding is, is done already now, uh, in somebody's wisdom here, they uh, cut the original factory one, which is actually a two-bolt uh, point for the ground itself, and then just added in this uh, simple little uh, piece of cheap four gauge uh, in here. And this is and this is one of these really cheap four gauges. This is uh, the uh, CCA style uh, four gauge that actually doesn't measure up to be a four gauge. It's actually small. It's actually smaller in gauge. Uh, then comparison to a standard 4 gauge. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this, uh, the strap structure right here. And uh, let's, let's get this off really quick. Um, I'm going to do this upside down. That's, uh, let's see what we got here in terms of a contact point. Uh, standardized 10 millimeter connections here. Also, the uh, other thing here is this is uh, slightly loose, which is also another bad thing. You never want to have uh, your actual straps or uh, any of the connections uh, loose because obviously what will end up happening is you'll get a corrosion uh, that will build up uh, on the bottom surface between the, the two surfaces here. Now, uh, as typical uh, in a uh, in any of the uh, electrical systems that are that are usually uh, excuse me uh, usually uh, factory and stuff like that this is a painted surface uh, which again this the, this contact point area right here is not what we want we do not want this as a, a painted uh, material uh, we want to strip this down uh, to its bare metal uh, uh, to, right to its bare metal and then what I'll do is is that after I actually connect the uh, ground to this uh, surface here, I'll actually go ahead and respray this uh, with maybe a black paint or something like that so that we can uh, seal off the contact points between the two areas. The reason why we want to do that is we don't want to have air infiltration uh, happening. And I'm going to use this, the, the factory point here as a good demonstration. Um, if you're actually, if you're looking at this, this metal here, uh, it's slightly uh, different color. Uh, originally, it was a high, a high finish uh, gloss uh, type, uh, you know, f you know, finished metal surface is kind of like a brass or some sort of uh, of metal here. I'm not too sure exactly what it is. It could be a brass. It could be just a pot metal. I'm not too sure. Uh, but what they've done here is they've done uh, 
they've got uh, contact points. Uh, they're like little stars uh, in these. Uh, it's kind of hard for you to see this. But down here, there's a, a star pattern. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oops. Okay, there you go. You can see the actual uh, bolt or the nut, how it's welded into place right here. Uh, into the into the panel, and so it's a little slightly raised off from the, the surface itself. Now, what that does is that it puts a, a pattern or a shape. You can see just ever so slightly. I'm sorry if this is out of focus. Uh, a little bit of a pattern right here uh, onto the metal. But those are the only contact points. Now you have this large strap here, but you only have these two small points. Now remember, for a factory system or a factory electrical system. That's really not going to be a problem. This is that that'll never, never, you know, never turn to opposed to be a problem because the current command uh, demand in this car for the factory electrical system is not going to yield you anything. What we're talking about is we're talking about, you know, having a thousand or two thousand watts of power uh, coming from, you know, or trying to source current from the back end of the car here. Now, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have a very large contact surface area. Uh, high clean, you know, very clean here uh, on the metal area. A good bolt location, such as this. Again, like I said, this has a nut on the other side of, of the uh, metal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean all this area off, uh, and then I'm going to uh, repurpose a bolt uh, and a nut system on here so that I can get this uh, uh, properly done. I'll be right back uh, in just a moment.